I would actually like to ask the first question. In your book, uh, you discuss four literacies. Can you tell us what they are and uh, what we can do to tap into them and what we need to follow to become successful? Great. <clears throat> well, welcome, everyone. Uh, I guess in Mexico City and uh, in uh, Washington, D.C., just to give you a little sense of what I do for a living. Uh, I'm a psychologist and a businessman. I have a PhD in clinical psychology, and I've spent the last 20 years uh, advising top executives in large <laughs> corporations around the world. Um, I have visited 43 countries and have sat face to face with about 300 CEOs of large corporations in those countries. And so my job really is to coach CEOs and top executives of big businesses around the world. Uh, a couple of years ago, I got very interested in the topic of global leadership and how global leaders, particularly in business, were leading their global corporations. And I went around and I interviewed, sat down and interviewed the CEOs of the heads of Toyota and Canon and Singapore Airlines in Asia and Deutsche Bank and uh, Vivendi and uh, British Telecom in, in Europe and in this country, Motorola. I interviewed the CEO of Semex the large, great cement company in Monterey, in Mexico. And so that's my perspective. I bring to the table a US passport. Um, however, like many of you, I have an aspiring global mindset as we're all trying to figure out how to become global citizens mm -hmm. in this borderless, multicultural world. Uh, to get to the question, uh, as I interviewed these leaders, it became clear to me that they all seem to have developed four kinds of capabilities. And we can talk more about this as the conversation unfolds. The first one was personal literacy, which is really about understanding and valuing yourself. It's about emotional intelligence. It's about being self-aware and being deeply committed to your own development. But as you know, certain people exhibit confident humility or self-awareness in different ways. The Americans, for example, exhibit confidence in a bolder, brasher, more in-your-face kind of way compared to the Brits or to the New Zealanders. Uh, similarly, uh, everybody needs to understand their core values but must recognize that they have to be flexible because people around the world have different versions of core universal human values. So that's the first literacy. The second literacy is social literacy, which is really about engaging and challenging others. Wherever you work, you have to mobilize people. You have to motivate people. And uh, we have to do it by trusting people, but being skeptical and pragmatic to know that not everybody comes to the table with open arms. So how do you trust another person and at the same time be skeptical and learn and be open to what they have to say? The third literacy is about business literacy. And that's really about focusing people on a goal and mobilizing them so that they're inspired and challenged to do great work. And, uh, and that's the third literacy. And then the last literacy is called cultural literacy, which is understanding your own culture and the culture of others. So how does my Mexican lens, for example, influence the way I see the world? How does my US lens influence the way I see the world? And how can I understand the cultures of others in order to be successful? So four literacies, personal, social, business, and cultural literacy, all understood from one's cultural perspective and all influencing the way we relate to each other around the world.